everyone, I'm Tanya Talker. I am a fourth year graduate student in Harvard University's Speech and Hearing Bioscience Technology Program. And I work with Dr. Thomas Claudieri at MIT Lincoln Laboratory in the Human Health and Performance Systems Group. So my research focuses on developing measures of motor coordination for children with autism spectrum disorder, um, individuals with mild traumatic brain injury who suffer from continuing balance problems, as well as um, for developing early screening for COVID-19. And so I aim to use signal processing and machine learning techniques to be able to develop insights and characterizations of motor coordination problems in these disorders, and particularly focus on motor coordination of speech production. So the goal of my research is to be able to understand why people have trouble being able to produce speech in the same way as individuals who are healthy. And so what I focus on is being able to use signals that we record from speech or fine motor movements such as handwriting or even gait, so looking at the acceleration of your torso and being able to see if we can detect where and how motor coordination differences are arising in populations such as autism spectrum disorder, COVID-19, as well as mild traumatic brain injury. The goal of this research is to be able to take these insights that we gain into differences in motor coordination in this population and give them to clinicians that are working with these populations, such that they can develop personalized treatment trajectories and also understand potentially where in the brain these motor coordination differences are arising from. And that way these individuals can receive the best treatment that they would like to receive. And particularly in the case of COVID-19, where we are hearing about a wide variety of neurological problems associated with the disease, we can have a better screening tool that will allow patients to understand whether they need to go into the hospital for additional screening or whether they need to receive treatment right away. One of the main things with motor coordination, particularly with regards to speech, is the link between speech and language. And so we all know that we could easily make sounds without actually having any meaning behind them, such as ba, 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 ma, ma, ma. But there's a separation between the speech that we can produce and adding language into it such that other people can understand us. And so one of the things that I would really like to look into is how differences in speech production or deficiencies in motor coordination that relate to speech affect the development of our language. Is it that if you have problems with speech production early on in life that you are unable to develop language normally and that might lead to issues within children with autism spectrum disorder, for example? And so understanding that is a key research question that I'd really like to look into further within my thesis as well as moving forward. I'm particularly excited about the idea that with the measures that I am aiming to develop, that I will be able to understand potentially the locus of the deficits of motor coordination and introduce objective measures that can be used in clinical activities. So for clinicians who are working with these individuals to develop therapies for speech production or fine motor tasks, they can really understand objectively, are these patients improving based off of the therapies that they're providing to them? What aspects of motor coordination are they improving in? Are they improving at all? And how can we better tailor treatments such that they will improve in the ways that the clinicians would like them to improve? And are they truly bettering their lives through these clinical treatments? Thank you.